Hey everyone, welcome back to Quasar's Customs. I am Hearst Quasar, and for today we're going to have a little bit of an intermission. Today I want to go into a little bit of an editing video, and I am going to show you how I made Maximus. Maximus being that silver 1968 Charger, the hero car from Fast and Furious 7. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make a copy of the 68 Charger folder. So, um, and this is for the PC users and only for um, the PC. Um, this is not for Mac, unfortunately. The Mac does not have the car editing uh, features for the Mac. So, this is only for PC only. All right. So, we're going to go into Program Files. We are going to find Steam. We're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, CMS 2018 underscore data, Streaming Assets, and into Cars we go. Now in here we will find our Dodge Charger, which is right here. And let's see, some, it'll show some of the liveries that are in there. Um, and these are the files for that car. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the body config file and all we're going to do is save it as body config one we'll close it out of that uh, we will open up config file we are going to save as config one and up here in config one where the car car version name is we are going to call this maximus all right, Maximus, I believe that's how it's done. We will save. Okay, so if you happen to be in here and you want to make multiple creations, name all the creations different names so you know you can differentiate them in the game. And they come into this configuration. It will go one, two, three, and four. You can't just skip uh, config three and expect for it to show up it doesn't work that way it has to be in an in a, in a order so if you have a config one already there go to config make this config two if that makes sense if it doesn't make sense to you hit me up in a comment section down below i will be sure to help you out in your adventures in editing all right so we've got both these files body config and a config file done we want to jump right into steam right now and we want to go into the car editor so when we hit we are in steam right now we want to hit play and we want to go launch game editor okay we're going to go right into it all right as you can tell i've got the bentley dlc i've got all the dlcs on this platform um fortunately i've got two different pcs and i've got this on a separate pc that i could play around with so that's why it looks so clean right now because <laughs> i don't have any mods on this whatsoever it's just the game cars itself so here we have the dodge charger we've scrolled down here we've selected our car right which is the dodge charger then underneath here you have a secondary filter and here's our dodge charger maximus that we created so there we go there is maximus so just basically uh, exploding the car opens everything up car stripping I don't recommend you messing with because it just all the parts just kind of fall apart sit inside is uh, pretty much self-explanatory and you can change the color the hue of the car um, any color basically that you want and we are going to make this one kind of like a grayish color that works for me um, you can show the body um, or not we'll get to that in a minute um, this just shows you where the lifter is in relation to the car sky or just a plain uh, background uh, if you hit reload car it will reload the same car without saving it and all these over here i do not know what they do and i don't mess with it nor do the auction car um, item and this is your rust uh, basically your rust livery if you want it 
set up and you set it up for the rust. Um, using your WASD keys and your left, I'm sorry, your right mouse button, you can maneuver around inside the editor. Up, down, and if you want to go a little higher, you look to the sky, you go up. There you go. See what I mean? And then down. So play around with your WASD keys and it will uh, come to you after a little bit. Even I have a little issue with playing around with these keys every once in a while, but um, you just got to get used to it. All right, so first, the way I like to edit, first of all, are wheels and tires. They are probably, to me, the most important um, of the vehicle. So we are going to go with a race tire on the back. Um, we are going to go with a 355. We are going to go with a 19, I believe, on the back with a 35 profile. Now, if you take a look at that, that looks like it's pretty thick. Uh, let's go with a 30 profile. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe a 20 inch rim on the back. All right, so that doesn't look too shabby. The front, we are going to go with a 19 front. Um, we're gonna go with a 275, I believe, and we're gonna go with a uh, 35 profile on that with a race tire as well. I think I'm gonna go with a 40 on the front of there. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Our rims. For Maximus, with the new rim DLC, we were able to get the new rims that are almost identical. So these are rims 25. These look like, uh, pretty much like your uh, center lines, I guess you might call it. So there's your center line. So I think we've got the wheels and tires all set up. Now we're gonna jump over um, from wheels and tires and we are gonna go to suspension. Uh, over here on main gives you the name of the charger and the scale of the car so here's your name here our suspension this gives you what your front suspension looks like this is your rear rear centered leaf powered and we have drum brakes on the back well i'll tell you this we'll take the body off of there so we can see what the heck we're doing and me personally um, even though i know this is a leaf car I want something a little bit better. So just by playing around with this and looking at some of these, you'll have to figure out exactly what you want. Um, anything that says front is for the front. So you have center leaf powered, center leaf powered two, uh, rear centered powered, rear centered power, uh, solid powered, um, and like the air suspension. So center, rear center leaf powered two. It's almost the same thing, just a little bit different. The shocks go a little bit forward, and I'm not really thrilled about that. So we are going to go, uh, let's see what's rear center. Oh, no, don't like that either. So rear center, rear center powered leaf, uh, center powered. Nope, that wouldn't be it either. Solid powered, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, and this is the type of rear end I want on it. And instead of drum brakes, I want I want disc brakes. So we are going to go, these are drum. This is right rear disc. So you see it changed from drum to disc. Then we will go over here and we are gonna do the same thing over here. Drum to disc, all right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we've changed the rear end. Um, I don't think I really need to change the front end that much, but uh, we may have to come back to it. Let's put the body back on it again. And let's see here. Why is my track? Okay, so track front track rear track it's how wide the tires are from outside to outside so um, 
if you need to bring the track in, I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, so we put 355s on. We've got a nice gap in here. Uh, not so much out here. So we're going to bring the rear track in some. So that's a five. And let's see just how. Um, we do have some room in there. It looks like it's okay. Um, but we're going to send this out just a little bit more to a 5.0, uh, 1.5200. Okay. So that works for the track. And it works for the front as well for the track. Right now, we are going to lower this puppy. So what we're looking for is rear uh, height. This is for the front. This is for the back, um, I believe. And as you wipe out these numbers, higher numbers. So if you go with a one, two is slammed. So we'll go one point or point one five. Yeah, went a little bit lower, 1.6. Let's go 1.7. Also, when you're doing this, what you may want to do is explode the car and take a look on the inside and see just where the springs are cutting through or where the tires are cutting through. So you can see the tires are cutting through a little bit there. So we are going to back this up a little bit. Five, five, six, seven. Okay, seven is about where is about as low as we can go without cutting into the wheel wells. And so for the back, um, let's see here. We can go one, five, five. How's that? Ah. Uh, Six, seven, five, four. Let's go four. Not as low as the front. We'll go three. Not as low as the front, but um, low nonetheless. And I think that should take care of the stance here. Um, let's see. I think I want to get it... Uh, go four five yeah let's just do that let's go uh, a little bit like that this may not be exactly what I had on my previous video but uh, should work pretty dang close so we've got it pretty much lowered now uh, we'll close up the car here and the next feature we want to do is the uh, is the engine Let's see if there's anything on the suspension we need to do. So we've got, I was showing you the front suspension. I think this is going to all going to be okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess with that any. Uh, we already have disc brakes on the front. You can change the front disc brakes. Uh, I think I'm going to keep that pretty cool the way it is. We're going to go over the engine. The engine in this is sized to a 1.4. So the bigger the sizing of the engine, um, the more horsepower you're going to get out of it but we don't want the the most horsepower we can get out of any of the in, engines i believe is the v8 supercharged engine so it's this beastly beast right here and as you can tell once i stuck it in there um, we have some some minor clipping here um, let's see we move our cursor around um, we've got some minor clipping if you can see that through the um, steering column there. Uh, we will probably end up having some into the framework. So it's not gonna fit perfect uh, without any clipping, but you can adjust this around and make it pretty much uh, fit the way you want. We're gonna show the body here. I don't see it sticking through the engine, so we're good there. We'll explode the car, see how it fits in there. Um, um, the fuel filter is a little far back. So uh, what you want to do is click on this uh, magnifying glass, this green magnifying glass at the top, and this will bring up some arrows for you. Um, we've got a blue arrow over here. Now move it forward and backward, green up and down, and the orange one from side to side. Now, now that I've moved it a little slightly forward, uh, we're going to show the uh, 
hide the body and see just how much damage we did down here. Um, yeah, see, so we've got a little bit of clipping here, uh, a little clipping there. Looks like the front um, uh, that's clipping in through there through the power steering pump. But I mean, just very minor clipping, and I am happy with that. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. So I'm going to keep it that way. Um, so we have the size of the engine. You can size the engine as big as you want. Um, I mean, you could take it up to a, an eight. Dear God, look at that. It's a beast. No, we're going to keep it moderately sized and keep it within the specs of the car. Try to at least anyway. Uh, and I want a 4.0 or 1.4. I think I've got my other one at a 1.45, I think. And I think we'll stick with, uh, let's see. I was just looking down here. Because every time you mess with something down here, it's going to cut into all of your, yeah, your steering rack is cut into uh, a little bit of your framework. So, but otherwise, not too shabby. Also, uh, while we're talking about it, there you go. Take a look at that. So your transmission came through the firewall there. So, um, what we may want to do um, is possibly drag it a little farther forward. Maybe to where the transmission is not so bad in there. Or, um, let's see, let's uh, close this up. And that's what I feared right there. You can see part of the engine. So um, what we want to do is bring it down a little bit. And if we brought it down a little bit, it may disappear. We see a little bit of the transmission in there. Um, we'll take it down a little bit farther. There we go. No transmission in there. We've brought it forward a little bit. Um, we still have some clipping of the suspension, but the motor is freaking huge. You can't help that. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't look too bad. All right, back to showing the body. And then now we've got the motor all situated. We want to go into the parts. This is all your, this is your exhaust. This is your downpipes. This is your radiator. This is your fuel tank and your battery and brake pump. All right. Um, so first and foremost, we want to add a part. So we want to add um, the ABS. Um, then you go, well, where's the ABS? Hurst, where'd the ABS go? Click on your magnifying glass. You'll get these little arrows that pop up. Play them around and bring them up. There we, there it is. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So play around with your WASD keys. Let's bring this down. Let's bring this over. Let's take this back. Take this over a little bit and bring it down. Yeah, there we go. We'll bring it out a little bit farther. Looks good. All right, and we will stick that right in there just like so. And you can resize it right here at the value. I was going to keep it at one anyway. Um, next up on the list, radiator. Radiator. We got radiator old here. So what... Uh, the conventional ones, the, the nicer ones, are called cooling. Cooling 1 and cooling 2. Cooling 2 has the dual fans on it. So we are going to go with the, the, those fans. Uh, again, hit the arrows. We'll adjust the radiator back a little bit. Looks good. Um, also, if you can click on a piece, like the battery right here, I'm sliding that puppy right over here to the other side. And I want to turn it around because I want the posts on the outside. So we'll find battery. It's 270, so let's go 90. There we go. Yep, just like so. So with these settings, you can tweak them in a little bit. Um, I mean, you can really just, uh, just tweak it in really tight a little bit at a time. Okay, we got that. Um, what else would I like to do? I believe I want to add, if we hit this plus sign up here, 
I want to add an intercooler. So medium intercooler. Again, we'll hit the magnifying glass to find out where this puppy belongs or where it's at. Side it forward right there. She is. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, do I want it here or do I want it lower? Um, we'll stick it right right in the middle. How's that? That that, that works for me. That works for me. Can't stick it too low because then you wouldn't see it. So, okay, so intercooler is installed. Uh, I moved the battery because we need an air filter underneath the hood. So we're going to add another part. We're going to add uh, air intake. Uh, I think it's a 620, 62 ME. We'll find out here in a minute. Let's drag this in. Drag it up. And yes, it is the one I'm thinking of. Um, so we need to position this. Uh, 90? Yeah, 90 degrees front to back. Play around with this. Squeeze it in. And the reason why we want the SRT one, this says SRT, is because this air filter will give us 2% more uh, increase in power. So, and that is really tight in there. Can I, I can squeeze it over without doing too much damage here. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, I think we're good. They don't look bad, I don't think. There we go. How does that interfere with the engine? The engine's so big in this thing. Ooh, we're kind of close, but uh, the clips are clearing. So let's see. And then if you want to clear off what you've got, just click anywhere off the part and it will clear. I think we have done everything we can with the engine compartment there. Um, some of the things like other gives you weight speed factor angle travel um and if it's a right hand drive or left hand drive uh drive shaft we'll look at in a minute um exterior has the license plates okay front license plate i don't want it so i'm going to change it to dummy so that means this car will no longer have a front license plate i don't want it to have a front license plate so i am taking it out um interior Easy peasy, it's changing the seats. So I'm not sure what this dummy position is, but it's there. And um, you can change the steering wheel on it. So we'll go, I don't know which wheel is um, the best, or the one I wanted to put on it. 14, two, three, I don't look bad, does it? We can leave that on there. All right, so we change the steering wheel around. We are going to change the seats around. So the seat, um, left seat charger, we're gonna go with the leather four, I think. Yes, no. Um, seat six, leather four, no. Seat four, leather four, nope. <laughs> ah, it's always the game it's not really labeled correct it's not labeled good enough to figure it out so you just have to play it by ear uh leather seat nine that didn't help leather seat 10 no nope. how about leather seat 11 that's the one i was looking for Okay, so um, we have leather four. Let's see, is it leather one? Yeah, leather one. So these, we're gonna match these up. Let's see, 11, leather one. And then these, these look a little tall. So again, you can click on the seat, but 
there's only so much room you can do with this. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And as you can tell, if I bring it all the way down too far, you take it a little too far, you can see it from underneath. So I am just going to take it down just a little bit. I'm going to bounce over to the driver's side. Click on the seat. Let's get a little beard's eye view underneath here. Um, I want to make sure it's only as much as I need to. That's good. Got those. Okay, clicking off of it. Now I've got racing seats in the car. At this point, I'm going to save. Because if I mess anything else up at this point, at least I can come back to this. All right. Now that it's saved, I know that the car is going to be saved. We're going to go into the trunk here because uh, we're going to go back to the parts and we're going to go with the gas tank again. Uh, with this with this particular car, you can see the gas tank, the fuel tank um, from the trunk. So we're just going to raise the tank up so you can see it from the trunk side. All right. So that's done. Now, let's see, trunk's done, fuel tank, interior's all changed the motor. We've got ABS, we've got changed the rear end, we've got an air intake now, an intercooler. We swapped the battery around. Let's move that over a little bit farther. Yeah, it looks good. What else is there? We need to hook up the exhaust. So, We'll show the body or make the body disappear. We got two things we have to do here. We have to one straighten out this drive shaft because it is no longer connected to anything and take care of the exhaust system because as you can tell nothing's connected. So we're going to go back to parts. We're going to work on the exhaust system first and with the exhaust system um, the downpipe is what uh, we have to change because it's these pieces right here. So we needed something to connect up there and we'll go to uh, You got a downpipe V80 V83 and then if you look at these uh, A2 is a little bit lower and 81 is even Lower than that, which is probably the four-wheel drive version. Um, right now, we're going to take a look at thinking. Um, I don't think two is going to work. We are going to have to go with the three. To bring them up a little bit. Um, let's do the magnifying glass and we'll cut them in. And we'll zoom the camera around as much as possible to try to see what everything looks like. And this is going to have to be, you know, fit it forward, bring it down. Bring it forward and this looks like it's a little off a little bit so we're going to slide it to the side bring it up and what i'm looking at is this matching this area up right here I'll back that up a little bit and that looks pretty close um it's a little off because remember my engine size is four five so we're going to add that my engines this is going to have to be the same scale as the engine so we're going to do that and set that to Got a nice look right there. Go over to the other side. Uh, not too bad there. So we'll try to match it up as much as possible. There we go. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. All right, now if we did the two, we might be able to go. Um, I do want it to be, now oh, two is lower. So three is as high as it's going to go. All right. Next up to bat is uh, whew, I hate I hate the exhaust. I I really do. Um, exhaust system. Okay. So the value is one one point two five. Um, considering these are at one point four five, eh, might give us a little bit of trouble, but we're going to find out. Um, so we're going to have to line this up as much as, as close as possible. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at this area right here. And because the pipe is a little bit smaller, and all you have to do is try to get your camera angle as close to 
Uh, this is possible. And that looks pretty close. But what I want to do is look out the back here and see how far it extends. It doesn't extend as far as I want it to. So what I'm going to need to do is uh, increase the size of this. So we're going to go 3.5 with it and see just how far that takes me. Uh, and we're going to continue messing with this. We'll keep playing around and get this pipe lined up as close as possible. Oh, went a little farther. And you can tell it gets a little jumpy when using a mouse. Okay, so how is that? Okay, so that might be sticking out a little too far. So we are going to go with a 3-0. All right, we're going to go 3-0. Um, let's hide the body again. So this takes a little bit of time, a little bit of finesse, and a little bit of patience. And get it all fitted up together. Looks like that's a pretty nice fit. It probably should come over a little bit farther this way. Yeah, that's pretty close. And it looks like that would stick out about where I need it to be. Uh, unfortunately, this is sitting really low. So now we have to figure out uh, which numerical value will tilt it up? Is that what we're going to do? Is tilt it up? So that's side to side for y. Um, oh, cred. Okay, so Z here, I had to get my bearings straight. That's back and forth, nope, don't want that. Uh, Z here. Uh, my five, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, 40, 34, 21, huh? Oh, this might be, does this now, Take a look underneath here. See, it drops the whole thing, and I didn't want that. So, get this back into shape. This kind of close, I guess. Um, so, what does X do? I don't think X is what we want. Nope, it's not what we wanted. So uh, we'll check out this rotation. That might be the one. We're gonna go eight, nine. Nope. We're gonna go one, two. Ooh. So one point five. So let's take a look at 1.5 here. That's pretty close, huh? 1.55. Okay, that's what 1.6 do. Ah, 1.65. That's pretty darn close. So I think we're going to stick with that. Is it sticking out far enough? Yeah, I think so. So uh, 1.65 on that. And we're going to go back underneath here. And make sure our exhaust is lined up. Let's get rid of the body. See how it's, it looks like it's almost lined up, but it's not really lined up. We're going to slide that over. And if I can get a hold of the blue one, and bring it in just a hair. Yeah. There we go. So exhaust system is pretty much, we'll take a look at it as many sides as possible. It's pretty clean. It's not perfect, but it's pretty clean. Now we're gonna do this other side the same way. 
Let's highlight it. And we're going to go things we know. 1.3, we're going to know. Our reflection is just make it flipping it opposite. So, yeah. Uh, rotation is I think 1.5. What was the 1.5 down here? 1.65. So 1.65. So that gives us the angle and the size, and all we have to do now is position it. So you know, once you get one of them done, you can pretty much get the angle and size, and you can hopefully get everything where you want it. Again, position your camera as close to the exhaust system as you can, while still being able to access your arrows and will do your best to get everything lined up. So there you go. And we'll show the body again, make sure we don't have nothing. Uh, it's pretty up there. It's pretty tight. We probably could go a little bit higher, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. And you can tweak on it just a little bit more. All right, last but not least, what we're going to, let's see. Let's save it real quick before we screw up. And now, Let's go for the drive shaft, and I'll tell you this: the drive shaft for me is between the exhaust and the drive shaft is probably the worst things to mess around with. Um, but if you click on the drive shaft or you select on the the magnifying glass, um, all these ghosted parts is kind of hard to see. But always mount the rear of the drive shaft first. So if you see it down there, looking down here, I have mounted this up. And as you can tell, my bolt pattern's a little off. So um, it's this piece right here. So I want to go, what, 90? Oh, no, that's not right. Okay, so that didn't work out right, right? Wow. Um, Let's see, I think it might be this one. So it'll be 45, 45, there we go. So you just play around with it. Um, so 45, I've lined up my bolt pattern here. And now I'm looking down here and you're looking to see how far off that piece of junk is. Wow. Yeah, everything is toasty. So we'll zero this out. Take a look at the back here. It's okay. Um, let's see the y-axis. I get these confused all the time. One, four, three, three, huh? Yeah, that's the whole thing. So we'll put that right back where it was. And it might be good for you to write down these numbers. That way, if you screw something up, you can always go back to it. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is line up the front. That's not it. So that's front to back. Um, that's coming down. That's one. Okay. So what I'm looking for is this up here. We're trying to squeeze this in. And we're using the numbers to squeeze it in. And what we're trying to do is get it as lined up as possible. So um, 0. Ooh. Okay, so 1 is up here. 0. 0.987. 7. That looks about right, but it needs to be twisted. So let's make sure we have everything back here. It looks good. Yep, yep, yep. Because this looks like it needs to go over this way some. Um, Okay, that's not it. 
So you start doing this stuff and it's it's it starts everything starts going crazy on you. See that's not it because that moves the whole drive shaft. See? It's not even connected back there, so we that can't be right. That makes that should be center. So maybe the engine's not center, but I'm not moving that engine around. Hell no. Um, don't know if it's that. Yes, it might be. Okay, so it'll be zero, uh, two seventy point uh, five. Ooh, okay, wait a minute, maybe four. That looks pretty close, right? Right, right? Okay, so we've lined that up. Now we need to lengthen the drive shaft. So here is the value of lengthening it. Um, we're gonna go with an eight, uh, five. Ooh, that looks pretty close. Now this length will go from the rear drive axle into the transmission. So what we're looking for is just the touching here. And now that I've touched, it's a little off here. So now we are going to have to come down on that a little bit. Three, two, yeah, probably two. And because I messed with that, I will have to probably mess with, yep. With this here, there we go, back to zero, zero. So, you know, it, you have to just keep playing with it until it looks right to you. Uh, looks like it's connected there. We are connected there. We've got the full exhaust system connected. Let's show the body. That's pretty tight. Like I said, we could always bring those up a little bit more, but uh, I don't think we need to right now. So there you have it. There is Maximus, fully customized 68 charger for you to play with in your game. So let me know what you think about the video. I will jump into the game and see if I can't find this. Um, uh, one of the things I can show you is where to find these cars. So let me, I've saved it. Let me jump out of the editor. And then um, let me get back into the car files and we'll take a look, okay? Be right back. Uh, body config one, which is Maximus, and we are going to add the salon, okay? And we're going to save. There we go. Now we have a full car modified 68 charger in our game. And then let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can see if we can find this puppy, shall we? And there she is in all her glory, Maximus. Just the way we built her in the car editor and she is in the salon. Now the color is a little off, but uh, I am in this uh, sandbox mode. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to stick her in the garage. Yes, put me in the garage, please. Thank you. Be right there. There you have it. I'm going to move her and give her a quick paint job because that is not the color that I really want it to be. This little off yellow. No, thank you. Saturation. We'll drag that down. There we go. There we have it, Maximus. Nice 68 Dodge Charger hero car from Fast and Furious 7. Pop the hood, look at a beautiful engine in it. Um, this one has no miles on it, so we bought it straight off the floor and repainted it. I hope you liked the video. 
Uh, drop me some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, and I would be glad to oblige. But for now, this is Hers Quasar. I am out.